Hey, welcome back to the Brooklyn Brothers. Hey, Hello, everyone. Today we're going to be making a grandma Sicilian pizza. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's kind of like a Sicilian pizza, but it's much thinner and it's constructed a little differently. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and get this started. It's a simple, simple recipe and uh, you'll really, really enjoy it. Real quick and easy and really good. Absolutely. All right, let's get rolling. All right. All right, first thing we want to do is get our shell prepared. Uh, this is uh, a dough that we made yesterday. Uh, you can actually get this recipe on our website. This is the New York style pizza dough. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some olive oil on the bottom of this pan. We're gonna go ahead and spread it out nice and even. And now we're gonna go ahead and stretch this dough as much as we can. I mean, we probably could stretch it all the way, but uh, there's a good chance that it could tear. So what we wanna do is just stretch it about three fourths of the way and put it right in the pan. And then we're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and kind of let it rise for about two hours. And there we go. You want to keep it covered so it doesn't get dry on top. All right. Okay, the first thing we want to do is uh, blend up these tomatoes. But we don't want to blend them to where it's a puree. We want to leave it chunky. So I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, emulsion blender and uh, pulse it. Or pulsate the tomato. There we go, that's the consistency we like. First, we're gonna go ahead and add about a uh, quarter cup of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of fresh chopped garlic. We're gonna go ahead and let that fry up. You don't wanna get it too brown. You just want it to get soft, basically. All right, garlic's been cooking, it's smelling out of this world. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes. Stir that around. <clears throat> We're gonna add a, about a teaspoon of, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And now we're gonna go ahead and let this cook for about uh, 15 minutes. All right, sauce has been cooking for about 15 minutes. It's a very nice consistency. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some fresh basil leaves. I like to add them at the end on this. So this way you have the um, basil, fresh basil flavor in that sauce is really, really good. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to let this cool down, and then we'll go ahead and start making our grandma pizza. All right, dough is ready. It's been rising a little bit for about two hours. I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic off, and now I'm just going to go ahead and stretch it real gently. You don't want to press too hot on it. Stretch all the way to the end. You don't wanna make a crust because we're gonna actually put the cheese from the center to the edges. And I'll tell you why in a minute. It makes stretching the dough so easy once you have it rising for about uh, two hours. See that? All right, now we're gonna put our mozzarella on it. And I'm gonna put it all the way on it to the edge because we want the cheese to melt against the pan. It kind of caramelizes the mozzarella and gives it a great, that cheese a great flavor. It's real simple. It's only three ingredients. 
maybe four with fresh basil. You know, back in the uh, 20th century, we had uh, grandmas coming in from Southern Italy and they couldn't get too many ingredients that they had in Italy. So they would settle for this type of pizza because it had uh, all the ingredients here in the US at the time. Okay, so now we have our cheese on the pizza. Now we're just gonna dab some sauce on it. And this is a very garlicky tomato sauce. That's the type of sauce you want for this pizza. And there it is. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven and let it cook for about, uh, Probably about 10 minutes, so we'll check on it. Okay. Here it All is. Right, pizza's ready. Let's pull this out of the oven. Let's check it out. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, baby. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Is that beautiful? Perfect. Man. We're going to go ahead and add oh, some man. fresh basil to that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Put it all on there. No, too much. Put some more on there. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, let's see. Beautiful. Slab it up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, place the spatula between the tray and the pie. Scrape that delicious caramelized cheese off the side there. All right, I'm gonna cut her up. Come on, man, oh man. It smells good, huh? Oh, I'm just like drooling over here. <laughs> I already cut the dang thing. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful grandma's pizza. Yum, yum. Let's Petite. eat. All right. All right. We're going to test this grandma's pizza out. Oh, man. It looks good. Did you burn your mouth? Mm -mm. Too bad. <laughs> Why, <Well, I> says? <laughs> mm. Very good. Yeah. It's, very, it's a simple recipe. You guys got to try this. I mean, perfect. This is restaurant quality. Very simple to make and very few ingredients. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you. We appreciate the subscribers, and if you enjoy the video, please hit that like button. Have a good day.